Shalom, brothers and sisters, and welcome to another video. I'm Brother Jedaniah. All praises goes to the Most High Yahuwah in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach. And brothers and sisters, we're going to talk about a few more scriptures that prove that Yahuwah is Yahusha and that Yahusha actually existed before. He was given birth to by Miriam. But first, let me go into a few things. Uh, this particular video here I did in 2018. The Mark of the Beast, tell me what you think. I want you all to go back and check out this particular video. As in this video, I talk about what we saw happen at the beginning of 2020 uh, until present where I actually mentioned in this video that I believe that it, the mark of the beast would be something that would go inside of you and change your DNA. Now, as I said in a previous video, uh, I believe that this thing which we saw over the last two years was a test run because the final mark of the beast is going to be something that's uh, completely stops you from buying and selling without it. So you won't be able to buy and sell without the mark of the beast, brothers and sisters. So, go to my playlist called Mark of the Beast. Scroll down to the second one and check it out. Now, check out all three. But go to this one here, which you see right here. And then come back here and then let me know what y'all think, brothers and sisters. All right, the next thing before we get to those scriptures is a mistake I made in the, on the last video I did when I said I didn't know if this was the first day of the Feast of Weeks. Uh, but I remember resolving that. If you watch my three video calendar videos, I actually resolved it then. But I, I looked at one of my other calendars, physical calendars that I have here. And uh, it kind of threw me off a little bit. Even though I was watching this one on the screen, I was thinking about that one there when I was making that previous video. But uh, yes, this here is the first day of the Feast of Weeks, brothers and sisters. And I hope that y'all have watched those calendar videos, studied it, and tested it over the last three years just as I did. And I discovered that this is more right than uh, the other calendars. Why? Because the vernal equinox, which most of them are going by, always start here. And the most highs are what I believe is the equal day and equal night. The last day of the most highs calendar year starts here. Why? Because this there's evidence that on this particular day is actually a real 12 hour day and a real 12 hour night according to the app um, that I'm, I'm going to post in the uh, description box below so download that app and start following along if you haven't followed along and checked out those videos check them out and then start following along but how do we know this calendar is correct because the Passover always end up right here in the middle of the week on day four of creation is will be the 14th every year it will never change you always have three days before it and three days after it now remember how Mashiach was in the grave three days and three nights and he rose at the end of the Shabbat that would happen every year your days won't fluctuate according to the Most High calendar, even though it would. Your days will fluctuate according to the Gregorian calendar. It will fluctuate. My brother says I done, I done did the testing. If y'all didn't do it with me over the last three years, then you didn't get a chance to uh, figure out the calendar. You know if this was correct or not. 
So I advise y'all to do it now. Start now. Get an understanding about what start watching the three videos that I posted. And then download those. Well, well, download the calendar first. All the calendars are 12 months first. And then go over those three videos. Because if you don't get day one right, the rest of the year will go wrong. Your calendar will be off. All your feast days, your Shabbats will be off like they are today. Now, it just so happened that March 19 is a Saturday. I know I got TH right here for Thursday. But you got to remember, that was the the year that I created it was it. It happened to fall on a Thursday, the Shabbat. But this year is uh, March 19th, just happened to fall on the seventh day. So this year it actually is going to line up with the Gregorian uh, day, Saturday. As we can see here, the 19th is Saturday. And according to the Most High's, Shabbat day, seven day, which is the third day of his calendar. Uh, it's a Shabbat. So for just for this year, it will line up and it will change next year. So let's get back over here and let's go over a few scriptures, brothers and sisters. Now, as y'all been noticing and seeing as I have been, there's a lot of people falling away from Yahuwah Yahusha. Because they are falling into confusion by men of lack of understanding. And guess what? They did the same in Yahush Yahusha's day. When he was alive, walking around in their face, they did the same thing. These are the ancestors of our people waking up, coming into the awakening, finding out some of that truth. And then they end up going astray, following men right into the ditch. These are the same, our same ancestors are reliving through us. We are their descendants. So the Pharisees and Sadduce, Sadducees, uh, and all those who turned on the Messiah, the belief of the Messiah, their descendants are alive and well today through them. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So there's a lot of Pharisees rising, willing to condemn you of this, that, and the other, but won't live it themselves. They won't condemn themselves. That's why the most I says you need to you need to be humble yourself. Be meek. Go pull the moat out of your own eye before you're quick to judge someone else, brothers and sisters. So the spirit of the Pharisees and Sadducees is alive and they are turning on the most high and the Messiah. Some of them don't even understand that they're doing it or why. Because they haven't fully repented of the sins of their forefathers. That's something the Heavenly Father had me do right from the jump. In my beginning years of um, coming into this knowledge of this truth. He had me confess the sins. All my sins. All the sins of my fathers. All the sins of my mothers. All the way back. I went all the way back to Yahusha's time. Then I even went further back to even Adam. I just, on, on, just based on everything I knew that they was doing against the Most High, I just kept going with it. I mean, it did take me a while to complete all of that, but uh, and some sins just popped up out of nowhere, and that that I remembered that I, I mean, actually that I forgot, and then I remembered. I confess those later on as I remember them. So repentance is, is actually going to be an ongoing thing, brothers and sisters, until you reach a point where 
You do exactly as Messiah says. Go and sin no more. Once you reach that point, all your armor is going to be up. Your knowledge and wisdom is going to be on point. You're going to know scriptures. You're going to uh, be able to respond appropriately to all adversities, trials, tribulations, attacks, angers, uh, all manner of deceptions, lies, um, anything that come your way. You better respond appropriately as to not sin against the Most High brothers and sisters so we see a whole lot of brothers and sisters um, falling away from the truth when it's right in their face so to add to some of these um, scriptures I've been posting to proving Yahusha uh, his existence before uh, and his existence period because some people just don't believe in him. And the fact that he existed before Miriam gave birth to him. So let's 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 read this here in uh John chapter fourteen verse uh let's start with eight. Philip saith unto him, Yahusha, show us the Father, and it suffice of us. Yahusha said unto him, have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how sayest thou then, show us the Father? He's pretty much telling you right here, I, I am the Father. I'm the express image of the invisible Alua. You know, he say, you know, we know that the scripture said that he's invisible, the, the invisible Alua. But he created a visible image of himself that he may interact with the messengers, interact with us as men and women on the earth. How many times has the scripture said the Heavenly Father hath descended And he came down and he had a body. Who did Moses see? Who? What presence was he in? Who did? Now we know Moses saw a messenger in the burning bush. We knew that was a messenger. It tell you it's a messenger. But that was the most high speaking through that messenger. Right? Who did um, Abraham speak to? Who did Abraham see with those two messengers when the two messengers went ahead before? That was Yahusha, brothers and sisters. Who was in that, um, in that pit of fire when Abednego and Meshach and, uh, third one escapes my mind for some reason i know the name but it just escaped but anyway y'all know what i'm talking about who was that who was the fourth person in there in that pit didn't they say one like a, looks like one like unto the son of man that was the heavenly father now i read this one here so that we can get to the next one which is in the first book of adam and eve brothers and sisters but who was that in that pit? And who was it who always came down? Who was Melchizedek? Who had no father or mother? It wasn't Shem. Shem has a father and mother. We can call it. We, can, we know that. It was Yahusha. King. And so let's get to this book of Adam. Brothers and sisters. All right, brothers and sisters, let's start right here. The book, first book of Adam and Eve, 15, I mean, 14 <laughs> and 3. Again, said Yahuwah to Adam, all this misery that you have been made to take on yourself, 
because of your transgression will not free you from the hand of Hashatan and will not save you, but I will. Who just said that? The Most High just said, I will. He will what? Save him. When I shall come down from Shemayim, he's coming down from above, and shall become flesh of your descendants, and take on myself the infirmity from which you suffer, then the darkness that covered you in this cave shall cover me in the grave. So when he's in the grave for three days and three nights. When I am in the flesh of your descendants, he said he was coming through um, uh, the descendant, the righteous bloodline, the righteous seed, the righteous from, from Adam through Noah, through Shem, through Abraham, Isaac and Jacob uh, to Judah came the Messiah. And I, who am without years, shall be subject to the reckoning of years, of times, of months, and days, of days, and I shall be reckoned as one of the sons of men. Remember, he said that uh, he was a he was a man of war. Well, through his expressed image of himself, the visible part of himself, Yahusha. He fulfilled what he said right here, brothers and sisters. And okay, forgot to read this last part, which says, in order to save you. So let me just start over right here. Verse five. And I, who am without years, shall be subject to the reckoning of years, of times and of months and of days. And I shall be reckoned as one of the sons of men in order to save you. And Yah ceased to commune with Adam. So, as you can see right here, the Most High said he would come down and save, uh, save us, or save Adam, save man from their sin. He said he would do this. And how did he do it? He created an expressed image of himself, which he used from the very beginning of time to create everything, to interact with the messengers, to interact with man that he created. And you see evidence of that by the Most High saying that he descended Remember, like, he also descended um, in the days of um, Nimrod, where he descended to see, you know, see what they was doing with this tower. <laughs> so, uh, the Most High doesn't lie. It's just men. Men lie to you. Men with lack of knowledge, lack of understanding, uh, that... It, it's so many of them leading you astray on this YouTube. You can't believe every video, but so you have to test these people for a time to see if they are of, most, of the most high. Are they bringing in these strange doctrines that you haven't read? Are they warping your mind into believing something that's not written, but they're using scriptures to make you believe that it, it's there? People have the talent and the skills to do those things, brothers and sisters, to manipulate your minds through psychology, just like um, that brother did with the um, chicken and turkey video. He showed you some chickens eating or eating a mouse, which ain't got nothing to do with why it's, uh, it is clean or unclean. But he convinced you through psychological tactics to follow him on that and leave off from following the Most High. When the Most High had it, had his criteria written out, you believe someone else. I've seen people still with them. And just like they was with Big Judah. When he also was on. Uh, 
saying that calling the, the most high set apart spirit mother earth and he brought in more damnable doctrine and, and brought in more confusion and his prophecies some of the prophecies he made didn't come true people didn't look at that either because they're they, they love these people that lie to them they got itching ears and more than likely they're one of the ones that's going to fall away more than likely if you're still with these people that I'm warning you about that I've been warning you about buying and selling in their ministries and you're still there with them believe me you believe in something that's damnable for you and you're going to end up in a lake of fire with the same person that you made your mighty one I've been warning y'all on this channel about that brothers and sisters <clears throat> but anyway it is the most high who came down in the flesh who made an express image of himself from times of old from days of old and he fulfilled the promise that he told Adam he would fulfill. Now I know this is a different version that y'all are looking at. It's because I forgot to say this last verse from the other version. And I had to, <laughs> had to put this in here and read this last verse and give a last little commentary on it on this particular part. And that's why you see two different versions here. Because I couldn't find the other one. I couldn't find the other one that I used. So I had to download this particular version. And uh, just go with it. <laughs> but anyway, brothers and sisters. Uh, let's move on. Micah. Five and two. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrata. Though thou be little among the thousands of Yehuda, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, unto the Father. He was coming forth for the Father. That is to be ruler in Yahshirah, whose goings forth have been from old, from everlasting. This is why he can say, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. This is how Yahushua could say that. His goings forth from old and everlasting. Memory is called the ancient of days as well. Let's go back over here where he says, And I who am without years shall be subject to the reckoning of years of times and months and days. Brothers and sisters, he's without years. He's eternal. But he made a portion of himself, a visual portion of himself, and he sent himself down to be born as a man, brothers and sisters, that he may fulfill his promise to Adam. And even Adam was waiting in the in the uh, in the grave in that chamber. For Yahusha, for the Most High to come down and fulfill what he said he was going to fulfill. And, and believe me, he had belief and faith in the Most High to do that. To save him and his descendants. And so he did, brothers and sisters. Now this is just a few more scriptures to add to the pile of scriptures. That not only prove that Yahweh is... Yahusha, but it also proved that Yahusha existed before he was born of Miriam. Because we got that one going around too. Oh, he didn't exist until he was born of Miriam. And then, of course, you got people saying Joseph went into Mary before the wedding or before they was joined together to fornicate even though they had an agreement that they was going to get married 
They didn't go through the ceremony yet. Brothers and sisters. And by the way, how could Joseph be the father if the messenger of the Most High had to tell Joseph not to put Miriam away because that child she's carrying is of the Kodesh or set apart spirit of the Most High. Basically saying it's not of no other man. It's not of man. What's in that womb and in that belly growing is not of man. It is of the Most High who fulfilled his promise to come and save us. And to add to that, brothers and sisters, the Most High told me in 2013, spirit to spirit. Remember, he, he speaks, he deals with spirits, not with the flesh. Now, his son deals with spirit and flesh, but him himself. That's why he created an express image of himself, a visible image of himself. But anyway, the Most High told me himself that it was him who came down to save us. And that's when I first fell in love with him, brothers and sisters. I thought I loved him before, but I realized I didn't really until that moment. That he did that for us, for his children. He came down personally. And was born walked it out with us and was punished took in all of our infirmities and died and then rose on the third day to fulfill everything brothers and sisters when it when it says there is no one else but the most high it is just him up there it's him I mean, there was, there's no one beside him that can do what he does. There's no other creator. I mean, of course, he got messengers and, you know, uh, I'm not talking about the created. I'm talking about the creator. There's no other creators around him that can sit around and have their separate creation somewhere else, off on the side somewhere, being a creator Oh, I'm going to create me some new people over here. And uh, matter of fact, I'm going to create me a, another zone over here for myself. Uh, Yahoo, how you doing with your zone? You know, no, it ain't like that. Yahoo Shah doesn't represent that at all. It represents the most, he represents the most high in visual form. And in a form that we can come down and and uh, converse with us and correlate with us and talk and, and uh, be seen of us as well but of the invisible the, the actual father sitting up there on his throne no one have seen him like the scripts say and that's why and don't put the most high in a box y'all put him in a box like he's not able to create a piece of himself and keep himself unspotted from all. Keep himself unspotted from all that evil that Satan caused up there. To keep himself unspotted from the corruption of man. That's why Yahusha was born, was created, begotten of himself. It was always Yahusha, y'all, who he he through uh, Yahusha created all of that, y'all. So I hope this I hope this um, particular video has helped y'all, brothers and sisters. And please be diligent with your research and your homework, brothers and sisters. You have to be very actively involved with your creator and your Ahusha more than with anyone else. You have to build your personal relationship with him that you may hear him more, that you may experience him more in these last 
days, brothers and sisters. Remember, there's going to be many fall away, and most of the ones that's falling away don't believe it's them. Now, if you got an inkling that, yes, it's you, you fall away, that means that the Most High is allowing you to see that so you can improve, so that you can uh, hear his voice and let that fear of him, fear of knowing that he could throw you in a lake of fire forever, come upon you. And, and let that be your uh, your decision to put away that particular sin or commit to uh, the Most High, putting away that sin, that He may lead and guide you into sinlessness, brothers and sisters. And again, like I said in past videos, um, the process for some of the things that you put away is going to be real easy and the process is going to be longer for other things that you're trying to put away brothers and sisters so you have to work with the most high with fasting and prayer with getting knowledge and getting understanding he'll work with you on your level and if you truly love him with your all your mind your heart and soul you would hear ye him and hear ye his son And if you truly focus on loving your neighbor as yourself, you would sin against your neighbor. Stopping a whole swath of sins from occurring, brothers and sisters. And you'll get the understanding on that armor, how to put that armor fully up and how to utilize that armor of the Most High, when problems and tribulation, trials and tribulations come your way, and testings come your way, you'll know how to respond if you stay in the Spirit and not obey the flesh. So, brothers and sisters, y'all pray for me as I've been praying for you, and uh, stay in the body of Yahusha. You know what it means to be in the body? It means to be within a community of believers that love one another, that care for one another, that reach their arms out to, to love one another. We don't argue, fuss, and fight, cause strife and division between one another. When you're within that community, uh, you have the word in you and we don't offend one another. We don't purposely go out to offend one another. But we also show our enemies that, hey, I'm not here to offend you on purpose. Even though they got a different agenda with you. We cannot be like them or any one of them out there who are who is unrepentant sinners. If you haven't seen those videos that I did about the Repentance Center and Unrepentance Center, go check them out. And uh, matter of fact, just go back on all my videos. Take notes. Take your time and hear what's being said instead of rushing through the video thinking you know what it's, what it's talking about or what it's, what's going to be said. Take your time with these videos that I put out. It's a whole lot of uh, knowledge, information, and wisdom in them, brothers and sisters. Take your time to go over these playlists that's created for your benefit as well. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.